Hi, my name is Jimmy, and if you want to watch me get in shape one egg at a time, like this video and follow this channel for more videos like this. So you're probably watching this because you're wondering why I've been eating 24 eggs a day. Well, I'm going to explain why in this video. I'm doing the Vince Gironda Master Series Bodybuilding Program, which is basically a one-year program split into one-month periods, so there's 12 periods in total, and each period has its own diet and exercise program that go along with it. And the idea is if you start this program by the end of the 12th period, you'll be ready to do a bodybuilding show. I don't plan on doing a bodybuilding show, but I will explain why I'm doing this in a moment. Um, but just a bit of background on Vince Gironda first. He basically was a guy from the 1950s who did a bunch of bodybuilding stuff before the steroids and all that sort of stuff were as mainstream as they are now. Um, and his results were pretty impressive. He was definitely a Sigma male of his day because he just went to a beat of his own drum and did things very differently to other people, like eating 24 to 36 eggs a day. Um, his training protocol was very obscure, um, and he did a lot of things that other people would advise against. But he says that that's all part of the program, and if you trust in, you'll get great results. So I'm going to see if that's true. So why am I doing this? I'm generally a pretty fit guy. I used to be really into bodybuilding and powerlifting. I came up in the kind of 2012 to 2014 bodybuilding powerlifting era with Matt Ogus and uh, Yucky Lovato and Omar Isof and all those guys. Um, so I was pretty strong back then. I was really into bodybuilding and then eventually into powerlifting. Um, I got pretty strong with powerlifting. I think at 160 pounds, my totals were, uh, I got a 385 for a double on squat, so I probably could have gotten a 405 for a single. Um, I got deadlifts that were three times body weight. Um, that was conventional before I had a back injury and started lifting sumo. Um, and then my bench was never great. It was maybe like 265 um, for a single. So that gives you kind of an idea where my strength was, but it's not something that I kept up on or was very diligent with through my my 20s. Basically, I got really focused on my career, like probably everybody else from that era who was really into lifting weights back when they were in college. And, you know, life happens. You kind of get a little bit out of shape. You kind of get a little bit fat. And yeah, you still kind of go to the gym when you can, but you don't really take it that seriously. And now I'm 31, probably going to be starting a family soon. And I wanted to take this opportunity to start from scratch and get into terrific shape, which is exactly what I'm doing with this program. So I started this program in January, about January 10th, and now it's February 20th. So I've already been doing it for 45 days or so, and I, well, actually a little over a month, and I've seen incredible results. I'll put some pictures on the screen showing uh, me at the very beginning and me right now. Um, and I've only really gotten through phase one. So what is phase one? It's essentially, a workout program where you're conditioning your body for the bodybuilding type workouts that are going to come um, on months, you know, two through 12. So basically day one starts out with a, a full body workout um, and you do every set uh, of eight reps, uh, eight reps on each set for each body part. And then there's 10 sets in total. And then day two, this is the very next day, you do the exact same thing, only you do two sets of eight on everything. And then on day three, you do three sets of eight on everything. And it goes like that all the way up to five sets of eight on everything. And by the fifth day, you are basically training full body every day with relatively light weights, especially if you're coming from a powerlifting background like I am, where we're used to doing everything super heavy for doubles and triples. Well, it's totally different with this. You're going much lighter because you're doing eight sets and you're focusing on form, and it's not about destroying the muscle because you have to train it again tomorrow. So if you really give it all you've got, you're not gonna be able to go every single day like the program dictates. And essentially that's month one, it ramps up, and then by the time you get to the steady state program, it's um, three days on, one off, three days on. So you just keep doing that, and it's basically six days a week. And the focus of the training is uh, flexing your muscles, getting them through the full range of motion. And not only that, but completing the workouts in under 45 minutes. So he talks about in his master series, um, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth with his pursed lip breathing, like, and you're doing that between every set. 
So you get your heart rate up big time with this. And he says that's where you burn a lot of fat and get ripped. And as you can see from my pictures, it seems to be working for me. So, and then not only that, you're doing this entire workout, 10 sets, uh, 10 different exercises, excuse me, uh, going up to five sets of eight on each. Um, and you're doing it in like under 45 minutes, 35 to 45 minutes. So you're basically running through the gym. Um, and it's harder on a cardiovascular standpoint than it is uh, from a cardiovascular perspective than it is from a muscular perspective, at least for me. So you're dripping with sweat and you're burning a lot of calories. And I can see how that gets you pretty lean pretty quick. Then the other thing is in month one is you got to stick to this specific diet. So he goes into the details in the in the book um, of why you he wants you to do all these things, but I'll keep it short and I'll maybe I might do another video on just specifically the diet and the training. But essentially is the first five days is a lacto ovo edu- vegetarian diet. So you're only eating milk and eggs and vegetables. And the idea is you're eating a ton of roughage with the vegetables. I was eating kale. I'd, I'd basically take kale and air fry it and just eat tons and tons and tons of kale. Um, and then you're eating all your protein from eggs and um, half and half. So you're taking like half milk, half cream, and you're mixing it with raw eggs, which you've pasteurized. I mean, you can cook the eggs, but I've been doing them raw because this way it's easy to just kind of put them in and drink them. Um, otherwise, it's kind of difficult to eat 24 eggs a day, which is the amount of eggs I've been eating because 24 eggs is about 144 grams of protein plus the protein from the half and half. That gets me to about 160 grams of protein a day which is, you know, that's my body weight. So um, that's kind of the way I've been calculating that. So yeah, I'll pasteurize the eggs so that, that way they're safe to eat raw. So I'll put a, put a sous vide machine in the water, get it to up to 140 degrees, put the eggs in, pasteurize them so that way I can drink them raw and then just crack them in a glass, whisk them with some half and half and just down the hatch. If you do that, you can eat that four, four times a day and then that kind of gets you there. So it's gross, but it's actually pretty satiating the fat in the eggs doesn't make you hungry i have not been craving carbs or craving anything else i feel pretty full all the time um and then you're eating all this roughage so you're just kind of cleaning out your entire system um and the idea is after that starting on the sixth day when you start introducing meat again um you're going to have better absorption so you know he talks about a lot in the in the In the book, I don't know if it's just bro science, but seems to be working for me. So then day six through day 30 is essentially the same diet where you're relying on eggs and milk and vegetables, but you're also adding in meat too. So that can kind of help you get to the the protein amount you're trying to hit without relying so much on eggs if you don't like the eggs. The other major thing he recommends is supplementing with liver because you just get so many nutrients in in desiccated, uh, freeze-dried bovine liver. Um, so I've been eating that with pretty much every single meal, two tabs of those with every meal, um, fish oils. Um, I take a vitamin C supplement and just a general, uh, multivitamin. Um, and what's the other one? Just, he says glandular and organ meat. That's a big deal. So if you can squeeze that in, that's great. I'm having good results without it, but I think I'll ultimately kind of, uh, phase that into my diet too. So if you're interested in following this journey as I continue through it and seeing what my results will be, or if you're just curious to see how high my cholesterol levels get when I eventually get blood work done, um, then stick around and watch the rest of these videos when they come out.